Some 300 Ukrainian students of the newly formed unit of siege riflemen versus thousands of Bolshevik soldiers. This unequal fight, which took place near Kruta railway station 101 years ago, delayed the capture of Kyiv by the Red Army for several days. The tactics of the Bolsheviks were very simple. An uprising in Kyiv, then the troops approached and occupied it. This is how Katerinoslav, Zaporizhia and Odessa were occupied. An uprising in the city, and then the troops approach. And here are the students who learned how to fire rifles just two months before. Andrei Palval immortalized this feat of the students in his mural in Kiev. The work took just over a month and was completed nine days before the anniversary of this tragic event. It was the first of such revolutionary events and a very tragic one at the same time. It's simply impossible to ignore it. The guys knowingly went to their execution. At that time it was difficult to call it a feat because those people who buried their relatives at Askol's grave did not understand what was to follow. The Bolsheviks captured Kiev in February 1918. And just a month later, after the signing of the Brest-Litovsk Treaty, the capital of the Ukrainian People's Republic was liberated. Only after that, Ukrainians could start searching for the bodies of those who perished in the unequal battle near Kruti and solemnly buried them at the Askold's grave historical site. Over a century later, the feat of the young siege rifleman remains in the public conscience. 300 young people, some of which were the ninth grade students just like me, went to defend Ukraine. Some of them were 14 years old, and they defended Kiev from the Bolshevik offensive. About 100 defenders of Ukraine perished in the battle near Kruti, while the losses of the Bolshevik troops reached up to 300 soldiers. Natalia Chekotun, UATV.